Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. It is 1223 in Honolulu, 623 in New York on Thursday, 23rd day of May, 2024. And this is the evening report for gold and silver. Both gold and silver continued their strong price decline into today following the release of the last FOMC meeting minutes yesterday. While gold lost $33 yesterday, it accelerated the decline today, giving up $55.70. That is a price decline of 2.33%, settling on the day at $2,337.20. Gold is now trading in Australia, down $4.20, from the close in New York, currently fixed at $2,333.10. Silver has also sold off dramatically, considering that yesterday silver opened at $32.22.5 and is now fixed at $30.35 after factoring in a two day price decline of $2.42. Concurrently, the dollar continues to gain strength, not only gaining strength when gold and silver were moving to higher value, but gaining strength as gold and silver prices decline, resulting in a net gain over the last six trading days of almost a full percentage point, with the index currently fixed at 105.047. Gold has been in an overwhelmingly bullish demeanor, considering that it has moved from just above $1,800 in October to in excess of $2,400 recently. We are looking at a two-day candlestick chart, and I'm using the two-day candlestick chart to illustrate that on a two-day period, this is the largest drawdown that we have seen. Clearly, market participants used the release of the minutes as a rationale to profit from the significant gains we have seen since the first week in May when gold was trading just below $2,300 per ounce. That is also a area of technical support should gold continue to fall to lower pricing. We are looking at a one-day Hankinashi or Japanese average chart to show the momentum of this recent sell-off and it is much greater than the former price retracement from the last time gold traded to an all-time record high. Currently, I'm not convinced that we have entered a full-blown correction. We are still trading well above the simple 50-day moving average that is at $2,320. And if gold can find support between $2,300 and $2,320, we could just witness a quick but shallow price correction after hitting a new all-time record high on Monday. That being said, we will remain flat with no active trades in gold after taking profits yesterday. The last chart I want to look at is a four-hour standard candlestick chart of gold. We can see that there was an area in which gold traded between $2,310 and $2,340 before breaking hard to the upside. This last break has taken gold back down to this price point. I believe we could see a further price decline at least till $2,320 and critical support occurring at $2,300 per ounce. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.